All right, team. It comes a time when you know God is calling you to take center stage, to make something happen for others that's happened for yourself. And I'm excited about what God is doing right now. And I know that you are going to make him proud. As you put on your helmets, as you go in and you put on your shoulder pads, as you go in and strap up your shoelaces, I want you to remember what you're fighting for and who you're fighting for. There's families out there. There are people, there are men, women, people who are broken, who've given up on life. God has called us to help them to live on purpose. And so whatever you've got to give, this is your time to give it. I want you to encourage them to be able to live the life that God has for them, the best life. They're gonna live on purpose. That's our game plan. You need to know what the goal is. And the goal is to get every man, every boy, every girl, every family in this community, in this church, on purpose, doing what God has called them to do. Now the enemy is gonna fight us hard. He's gonna try to make us tired. He's gonna try to wear us out. But you and I, we've gotta keep pushing towards purpose and not give up. The first quarter, second quarter might be easy. What's gonna be hard is we're gonna have to push at that third quarter when it gets rough, when everything is coming at us. That's when we've got to fight and continue to be able to see God's plan and God's purpose being lived in this world. Listen, this is gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done, but it's also gonna be the most rewarding thing you've ever done. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. And God has called you to be able to help men and women, boys and girls, to live on purpose. So let's get out there and let's do it as we take this community by storm. Get everybody in these next seven weeks involved in life-changing ministry in Jesus' name. Are y'all ready? I said, are you ready? Let's live on purpose. Let's live on purpose.